apologize. Brill in Minnesota, you're on the air. I'll quit preaching. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Um, uh, first time caller. Uh, I'm a little nervous. Great to talk to you. Um, if I could, I'd like to give you a little my little story quickly about uh, police state and then talk about um, my experience with people not wanting to open their eyes to what's going on. Uh, my background here in Minnesota is um, a musician. I go by the name of the Stick Up Kid. I've got some CDs out there and iTunes and all that, but I was a stay-at-home dad, and my wife took over the family business uh, as a land developer. So we were doing pretty well. Our business was doing well. Next thing I know, we're having troubles in our marriage, and the locks were changed on me. And all of a sudden, I'm homeless. So I'm trying to you know, save the marriage, figure out what's going on, work it out. And I show up, and she's having an affair with a cop. And from then on, I've lost everything. So, um, Yeah, but you need to understand, as bad as it's been for you, that cop and everybody are going to have horrible lives now. And it's all going to come back on them. But let's talk about it when we come back. Just from the school on the streets and studying human behavior, but women, on average, are told, hey, get your d dad to stay at home, make him Mr. Mom, you go out and make the money, or you run the career, that's a great thing to do. And most of the time, women end up not respecting that and getting rid of you and getting what they see as an alpha male. That's just the way the biology works here on this planet. And the system knows all that, so they try to change that. Uh, but... Uh, and then, and then women are told, use the system, do whatever you want. I mean, I think something like almost 80% of divorces are filed by women. And, and, and men are slobs and men oppress women. I mean, it, it's usually an abuser relationship. You'll have a man abusing a woman or you'll have a woman abusing a man. And uh, they're always entitled and have excuses for what they're doing. Uh, but I've heard about these cases where the cop gets your wife and then it's like something out of a movie where the whole system's now against you and now the gang lines up against you and you're in deep crap. But that's bearing false witness. And generally when the system figures that out, that person ends up getting in a lot of trouble. But, but I, I haven't even heard your story yet. I'm just guessing. Uh, Bill's calling from Minnesota, a musician, married to his wife, staying there. They have a, a, a development business doing very well, boom, suddenly he's checked out of the house, a cop moves in. What happened from there on out? Um, okay, so um, I had to, you know, I was homeless, then I, I took a job as a janitor um, and had to get an apartment for myself. Then, you know, well, right away... But see, so a, man I, didn't, a man wouldn't even usually on average go after the woman like that because a woman on average sees it psychologically, the studies are there, that they own you. Uh, you know, you're supposed to take care of them, even though it's vice versa. They want this equal system. And so you're taking care of the kids. Now you're thrown out. You would have immediately gone to a lawyer, forced the sale of the house, all the rest of it, the assets. But see, the system just let her lock you out, and now you're homeless. Go ahead. So when I caught her that night with the cop, I go in the house and turn on my, I called the police right away because I didn't even know he was a cop. I just knew there was a guy in the house. So I called the police. I start recording on my iPhone. And the first thing I asked, I went upstairs, went to the guy, and I said, do you know my child? Have you been around my daughter? And I filmed the whole thing, and everybody that's seen it is like, wow, you know, you just caught your wife with another man. I, I can't believe how calm you were and everything. Well, I, the police told me that to leave. And I'm like, no, it's my house. We own it together. Look at my license, you know, I'm on the deed. And they said, well, here's the deal. If she says she's scared of you, you go to jail. And she hasn't done that, so you better just count your blessings and get out of here. And then I was like, Yeah, no, no, no. no. The, and, and, and again, they were implying, we'll let her fraudulently say this if you don't leave our brother alone. And and, and those cops are going to wonder why their kids are in car accidents, why they get cancer. I mean, I'm telling you, it's a law of the universe. You use power to oppress somebody, you can kiss your butt goodbye in the future, and God will serve it cold. And, and, and that's a terrible, terrible thing that happened to you. So where did it go from there? Um, 
So I ended up leaving. Um, she filed an order for protection on me. Yeah, no, no, no. They, yeah, yeah, they told her to do that. And then you didn't have the money probably to go get a lawyer to, to, to impeach that and prove it was a fraud. I did. Because you did. I had the video. And I, I, I had an attorney that... Hold on, here's the deal. I, had... I got Bob Barr coming up for 30 minutes. This is an important story because people are already into it. So we're going to recap it and cover it at the bottom of the hour. Can you hold? to be speaking to you. Sir, finish your story in Minnesota. Recap it in one minute, and then in the two minutes we have after that, tell folks how it all ended. Go ahead. Uh, okay, so um, stay-at-home dad, um, the wife, was taking over the family land development business, doing really well. Um, I have a degree in music, uh, so I was a part-time musician. Uh, I'd stay home with my daughter during the day and teach out of the house in the evening and then gigs on the weekend. Yeah, standard, standard um, deal. And she married you, and that's what she did. So you show up, the doors are locked, there's a cop in there. Exactly, yeah. Um, the doors are locked, and I show up to give her a birthday present, trying to save the marriage. That's when I caught her with the cop. I didn't know uh, he was a cop at the time, so I called the police, and then I started filming the whole thing and just calmly asked the guy if he's been around my kid, what's going on. She filed an order for protection on me, and that's when I finally got an attorney. We go to court, and it's thrown out because I have uh, evidence and whatnot, and they knew they couldn't, you know, fight me on it because uh, I had the video. Um, so right from then, I get temporary joint physical legal custody of my daughter. Um, after being homeless at that point, then I get a job as a janitor, uh, get a crappy one-bedroom apartment, and then ramp up to... 50% uh, time with my daughter. Um, but in the meantime, I got to say, she packed my stuff up. I never got a choice in what I got. She packed up what she thought I should have. Now, I mean, this is the, this is the standard with. deal uh, designed to break up families. So you said it was a police state story. How did it end? Um, well, uh, it ends with me going to trial, but I just got to say that um, I, you know, I had my daughter for 50% of the time, and then uh, I asked for temporary relief because they weren't making an offer to me to end the divorce. I she makes six thousand dollars a month. I was making like twelve hundred. But you're I a man. You don't. You, you, you got one minute. Finish it. Okay. So um, I was denied that. Uh, then, out of nowhere, she files a harassment restraining order on me for filming her at all of the exchanges and for sending co-parenting cool text messages. The harassment restraining order goes through, and in there, they tell me I can't film her. They're violating my First Amendment right, and I can't tell my story. I can't put the video up. So... Well, look, 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 she's done the wrong thing, ditching you and breaking the family up, which hurts your daughter. She needs to demonize you to feel good about what she's done. Uh, so I, I would just try to forgive her and say for the best thing of our daughter... You did this to me, you know, be nice to me. I mean, have you tried doing that with her? Oh, that's what the harassment thing was about. I was trying to co-parent and say, you know, let's work this out. Well, but I mean, so, 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 I mean, I know it's stacked against men. That's the new world order. But, I mean, how, how is it ending now? Um, now I haven't seen my daughter in three months um, because she took my daughter away from me on my parenting times, and I asked why. So I, apparently I need to have supervised visits. Um, but it ended with me going to trial two weeks ago on my own because the attorney... How did it end? How did it end? We got 10 seconds. It. How, how did it end? How I, uh, I spanked him. I, I caught her lying on the stand. I, you know, Good. Her you fought the phone. long haul. You beat her. You beat her? Yep. Good. Good. Alex Jones here to break down some exciting developments in the area of research concerning supplemental iodine. It's nothing less than phenomenal. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. And I used some of the mainline iodine supplements and they upset my stomach and I had some issues with it. Until I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group, who I was already interviewing as an expert on my radio show, and I began taking the product before he actually rolled it out. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals that are incredibly powerful that no one else has as a source for their iodine from between seven and 12,000 feet, literally drilled out of the ground. You put it on a hot plate, and 
it turns into the pure gas. No one else has 99.99% pure iodine. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. I was over 270 pounds. And with the iodine exercise and better diet, I have lost now more than 50 pounds total and I'm continuing to lose the weight. I have more energy, my libido, all this crap came out of my skin. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, this is trailblazing, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com.